Good morning. It's gonna be a cool day today. I'm working up in Bellingham today. I'm gonna try to meet up with my students. I'm gonna get a burrito at that burrito place. It's the most amazing burrito place. Oh yeah, hopefully getting a picture from 94 million miles away. It's gonna be cool. point in my drive when I run out of coffee. All right, we're in Bellingham. Let's go get it. Hey, long time no see, man. Yeah, so talking about this, <laughs> this plot in particular. So, I don't, know if, I don't know how to feel about that. That's, it's, a, it's a bit out there. It definitely mm -hmm. breaks our narrative a little bit. Yeah. Like yeah. more data made mm -hmm. the situation worse. Yep. <laughs> Look for that rotation period in this, in this, and in this. Yep. So am I gonna be <laughs> featured in your, in your vlog? You might be. It is rather cool how it is the blend of these four different catalogs together, and we've right. constructed a, a, a picture that extends, you know, almost 40 years. And like, what's cool is we thought we had an idea, and now we have no idea. High five. This burrito costs five dollars. That is a killer deal. That was a really good burrito. Just got done with a meeting with one of my students who just graduated recently. He published his first paper um, about a month or two ago. I'm really proud of him. Let's go in here. One of the cool things about the campus at Western Washington University is there's sculpture everywhere that you can walk inside of. So this is a cool one, it's a giant triangle. It's really cool, <laughs> it's really neat. So now I'm going back to my desk and when I sit down, I'm hoping that the image from outer space has arrived in my inbox. That's it. That's it right there. That is the Earth. As seen from 94 million miles away. All right, make a version of this. Twitter, hashtag wave at Kepler. There are so many cool things about this image. So this image was actually taken December 10th of 2017, so just recently. A colleague of mine, Aaron Ryan, and I wrote this proposal a year before that. So I had the idea for this almost a year before that. So I've been waiting to see this image since mid-2015. Two and a half years I've been waiting. Totally honestly, I woke up at 5 a.m. this morning and checked my email over and over and over, waiting to see if this file had been had been downloaded, waiting to see if this file was ready. Ah, it's so cool. Look at this. Look at this. Look how cool that is. That is Earth. That's you. Come on, how cool is that? There's so much going on. I mean, I'm looking at it here. The reason that you see, oh, center that. The reason that you see this giant vertical band that looks like a lightsaber or something is the Earth is incredibly bright. It's way, way too bright. Millions of times brighter than we are hoping to find for stars. So this is considered a nuisance, but it's so bright that the actual electrons that gather, we'll go to the whiteboard. All right, so if you think about uh, a camera as having pixels in a grid, and each pixel is actually like a little bucket, then as the light comes in, and the photons strike the bucket, you get these little electrons. Each bucket has finite size. It's my picture of a bucket. And when you overfill the bucket, it spills. And you get a puddle. 
around your bucket. And that's what happens here. This pixel gets too full. It has as much light as it can possibly hold. Charge actually bleeds over and floods the neighboring pixels. And it usually spills over in the, direct, in the vertical direction, which is the direction that the buckets are passed when they get read out at the very end. There you go. There's your technology lesson for the day. That's how charge couple devices work in a nutshell. And that's why you see this giant lightsaber-like feature. It's really impressive. This is what happens when you take an incredibly sensitive camera and you point it at something that's way, way too bright. You gotta share it with the world. This is an interplanetary selfie. That's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, time to go home. Try to play around with that wave of Kepler image a little bit more too. That's really cool. It's a good day when I get to spend a couple hours with my students. They're really talented. They're really smart. And honestly, it sounds cheesy, but they really inspire me. A lot of the reason that I continue doing the projects that I'm working on, the projects that end up being really cool, is because these students push me to do it. They make me into a better researcher every day. And thank you to them for being awesome. Oh, 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 oh,